Today I'm going to build a $650 PC. Right now I have the keyboard ready, Microsoft Internet Keyboard, Microsoft Optical Mouse, USB, card reader with an 8 gigabyte SD card in there which has a uh, Photoshop, Office, um, a couple other programs, and a wireless USB adapter so I can get wireless internet to update the operating system. The parts should be arriving uh, via UPS. UPS is here delivering the parts. This is what a $650 personal computer PC looks like when it comes to you via UPS. We'll be opening the boxes right now. This is the empty case where all the parts are going to end up being. There's all the boxes for everything. Here is the 500 gigabyte hard drive. Here is the CD burner, DVD burner, player, whatnot. The motherboard where everything plugs into. The Intel Core 2 Duo 2.2 gigahertz uh, processor. Two gigabytes of RAM. This is super cheap. It's only like, I don't know, 30 bucks. Extra case fan that we'll install right there to uh, help it stay cool. Derek also bought a four gigabyte uh, memory USB stick or memory key. And of course we have Microsoft Vista the best operating system in the world. I could put Mac on this computer, but why would I want to do that? Here's his 19 inch flat panel LCD monitor. I am very jealous of this. It will look uh, fantastic. First things first is the motherboard. It supports an Intel Core 2 Duo, and that's exactly what we're putting into it. This processor right there. Let's open up this guy and take a look. Drivers, Vista probably won't need these drivers, but we'll keep this handy. This is the back plate. It goes right there so that everything matches up, like the um, all the ports, USB ports, and uh, other things. The instruction manual. I'll definitely need to be reading this to find out where to plug in stuff on the motherboard. Uh, hard drive and CD-ROM drive cables. Floppy cable. We won't be using that because who needs floppies anymore? And these are the newer type cables, which. Uh, I think the hard drive is going to need, or the hard drive might take that one. I'll have to look. Here's the motherboard itself. Aftermarket motherboards are a lot more uh, powerful than what you get from Dell or whatever that gets stamped out, you know, a hundred, a, a thousand at a time. Um, here we're going to have our four USB ports, internet, audio, video, RAM slot, CPU slot, and um, where's the hard drive slot? Right here. And then, of course, power and power, uh, keyboard and mouse. I've prepped the motherboard by pulling the wires away and installing the little stands that the motherboard is going to screw into. And taking out the back panel, we won't need this because we already have one. The one that came with the motherboard, right here. We don't need that. Now I will uh, put the motherboard in. The motherboard is now installed and all the controls for the front panel, like turning it on, the speaker, the, the lights and stuff like that for the front, the reset switch, the power switch, are all installed right there. It's screwed in at all the various points. The new panel is here and everything of course fits through perfectly. The front USB ports and audio ports are connected with these two wires right here. One says USB, the other one says audio. And they will go into this port, USB, and the other one will go into oh, this audio port right here. They just snap right in. This is where the processor goes. I'm going to be installing the processor right now. The Intel Core 2 Duo. There it is. About the size of a quarter, only square. This other thing is a big heat sink to keep it cool. What are you cooking? Um, I was burning one. Okay, because I was wondering what that smells. It smells good. Onion roll, but... Burn toast. That's what it smells like. Burn toast is awesome. Installed. Heat sink is installed. The fan's on top of it, and it's plugged in to the power outlet for the fan.
Processor is installed. Now we're going to install the RAM in these two yellow slots. Right there. Two gigabytes of RAM. RAM is installed. Two gigabytes in these two slots right here. Okay, we need to power the motherboard now. It has this uh, CPU power cord. It goes in a certain way. And a socket over here, and then we have the main power cable, which goes in this way. And then there's another hooks on first. <laughs> So whether he comes out this year or not, I don't know what his... There we go. Now the motherboard is powered. I will hook up the hard drives. All we really had to do was plug in the hard drives with this blue cable right here and the CD-ROM drive. And then uh, turn it on. Blue light's on. Vista's getting ready to do its thing. We, uh, here's the Vista disk. And of course I just put it in the CD-ROM and now we're waiting a couple minutes. It should be good. This is now fully installed. We're installing a couple of more things on this wide screen monitor. Computer's there, working good. We're getting some other stuff off the other uh, laptops. And here's the owner of this fine piece of machinery. That would be me.